It's October 24th. I'm out here east side of Block Island. Fished yesterday off of Jamestown. It's considerably slower than it was the last several weeks. But still, fish are still there. We had two right at about five pounds. Um, fished around beaver tail east side of Jane, you know, poked around. Wanted to try out here at Block Island. I had spots out here that I've never really gone to. So, poked out here. It's a bit of a north wind. I didn't think it'd be this. But there's, there's definitely some wind, but it's not too, too bad. It's supposed to switch to west. Hopefully it does. It's probably a 15 and a half inch. colors on this girl. Small fish, but... So with these tog, I don't know if it's water clarity, water depth, or what they're feeding on. I'm not sure what it is time of year, but Starting with a clean slate, I usually just slam them right on that, right on that. So you have series of taps. I'd like tick, tick, So that's one series, two series. Usually on the first, tick, tick, I'll, I'll just slam them. See if they're hitting like that. If that fails, I'll wait until that second series. If that fails, I'll wait until the third series. Usually, it's a small one. I think it's the first male today. Very small one. Yesterday I was waiting, trip before that <clears throat> seemed to be waiting. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. You don't you don't wanna wait you don't wanna wait until you, they move your sinker or you're sure they're they're hooked. You wanna try to hit them pretty quick. They're they're gonna come in and, and eat. They're gonna come in usually crush and back up, then come in again and eat it. So you wanna try to try to get them quick. Today I'm waiting a little bit. And those machine gun taps, the burgle, the sea bass, you're gonna get a little immature that might like just kind of ignore those. Don't really set up on those. That's not that's not what you want. Wait for that thud. You feel that thud thud. If you don't hit them right there, wait until that second. Be poised and ready. Rod at about the eight o'clock position, bring it up to about 11. You don't want a high stick. You can actually break a rod and your rod bends. What happens if you comb up too high, your guides will start to kind of canter off to the side and that'll kind of twist your rod. This rod I'm using is full graphite. You'll, you'll break a rod like that very easily if you high stick with a fish on it. 
when I'm flipping fish in the boat, you see me doing that. I have years of experience doing that tournament bass fishing. I've done that for years. That's a skilled, you really have to know what you're doing to do that. I don't flip fish over about five pounds and fear of cracking a rod or just have them fall off because if they twitch, if you do it fluidly, when you lift that fish out of the water, in the air for that half second and throw them on the deck of the boat, they're not even gonna know they left the water. You wanna do it fast if you do it. I flip cod too. I flip cod up to about eight, eight nine pounds. Same reason, little heavier rod. I don't want them to fall off. Once they twitch and flap, you can kinda, kinda be in danger of losing them. All right, that's a decent, decent fish. Big trigger. Monster trigger fish. him in, that's a big boy. Thing is a brute, nice one. What you're gonna get out here. It's probably a 10 pound cod. I knew it was big. I wasn't sure if it was a tog or not. It had some slow head rolls going on. They barrel roll like alligator. This is a pretty decent fish actually. Might not look at that fish is probably 10 pounds. Just goes to show you you never really know what you can get out here. I'm targeting to tog. It's, it's it's late October, We've got a nice 10 pound cod and several keeper to tog already, I mean. It's brisk today, but it's worth it. Right home, this north wind doesn't chill out, I'm gonna 
I mean, she'll put her shoulder down and I'll, I'll go into it, but it's gonna, I'm gonna feel it. It's all right, it's still early. It's barely nine o'clock. out of the day. I'm gonna measure him. Huh. 22, I'm gonna keep him, I think. Probably all of seven pounds, maybe a touch more. Nice big boy. Another big trigger. Jeez, I think this one's bigger. Real cool looking fish. I think this one's bigger than the last one. Things are just real cool fish. This is if I followed something or it was very, very heavy. Just wait. Todd fish. 
fish, I followed him. Taking another keeper cod. size comparison that's a nine pound nine ounce cod blackfish from seven one in the bottom trigger fish was the bigger one the top one was like 4.02 or something like that and the bottom one was 4.28 so very good way to end the season <laughs>